Hello, I'm Rusty Zinn, and uh, tonight we'll be playing some blues, uh, lots of different uh, flavors of blues, jazzy, uh, R&B influenced blues, Chicago blues, and uh, maybe some other surprises, but it's all blues. I fell in love with Jamaican music um, uh, maybe about 30 years ago and uh, I just pursued my passion in, in learning to play it and, and to sing and, and, and to write songs in that genre and um, I definitely think you know the blues is in there because that's one of the ingredients uh, in Jamaican music because Jamaicans were definitely playing blues and what they refer to as boogie shuffles before they came up with their first indigenous music called ska. So the blues is definitely, it's definitely in there. I think the blues is the roots of most of the music that I love. Well, I mean, I would say that it's, you know, based around the three chords, the one, the four, and the five, and you can you can make it fancier by throwing in some other chords, um, but I think the blues ultimately is uh, it's a feeling and it's a sound. Um, but it's a it's a feeling and a sound. And uh, you have uptown blues and you have blues that's low down. Um, you could play cocktail blues, which is going a little closer to jazz, I guess. But uh, but it's ultimately a feeling and a sound and feeling combined together. No, I think blues is blues is like um, is like medicine. It, maybe someone comes here and they're feeling sad or they're feeling lonely or melancholy or whatever, and the, the music should should uplift you and should fill your spirit with joy. It's like it's like gospel music, and it's the same thing, you know. Yeah. When I was a little boy, when I was five or six years old, my mother had, um, you know, her 45 collection from when she was a teenager in the 50s. She still had it. So I was digging through her 45 collection. I had a little portable record player. And I really loved Fats Domino. She had a lot of Fats Domino 45s. Of course, Elvis Presley also had a big impact. She had a lot of his records. Um, both those guys definitely were coming from a from a blues tradition, I would say, as a heavy blues influence to their music. But to fast forward, and so because of my parents, I was hearing doo-wop and Sam Cooke and good rhythm and blues music, you know. And uh, But when I was a teenager, my brother started, I guess maybe I was, I don't know, 14, 15, you know, around that time frame. My brother started bringing home uh, uh, vinyl records of Muddy Waters and John Lee Hooker and those kind of artists, Eddie Clean, Ed Vinson, all kinds of artists. And that's Howlin' Wolf, oh my goodness. So that had a really big impact on me to hear that deep, the deep blues, you know. For the sweet talk, she whispers in my ear. Tea is for the thrill I get whenever she is near. B stands for eternal, now and evermore. D just stands for darling, don't ever let me go, I'll be wasted. W-A-S-T-E-D. So I grew up in a town 
called Santa Cruz, which is on the coast in California, about 100 miles south of San Francisco. And um, there's a lot of culture in that town. And there was, and it was always a um, town where touring bands would always come through, a lot of big names, you know. And, you know, you'd have blues bands come through, and then you'd have King Sonny A Day and, you know, African artists and... And you'd have reggae, Toots and the Maytals, Peter Tosh, Jimmy Cliff. I mean, it was just a hub of music. Bob Marley, of course. So I was no stranger as a teenager to, to that kind of reggae, to like Bob and Peter and, and all the kind of really well-known artists. But I went the blues route, even though I was hearing, uh, you know, reggae and all kinds of other music. I loved it all. But in the uh, mid-90s, I lived with uh, a friend of mine. We were roommates. And we both had our record collections. And he turned me on to um, like Rocksteady, which is kind of pre-reggae sound with all the beautiful horns and harmony vocals and Jimmy Cliff and uh, Desmond Decker and Ken Booth and Alton Ellis and all these fabulous singers. And that, you know, you know, it sounded different than what I'd heard in Santa Cruz, like here in The Roots, Bob Marley and Peter Tosh. I said to my friend, well, what is that? Is that Caribbean soul music? Because that's just what it felt like to me. So, oh, that's rock steady, or that's the beginning of reggae, and and man, it just turned me inside out. Just the same feeling I had when I first heard real deep blues. It just, it just got, it pierced my heart and my soul. And like always, I follow my passion, and I learn, uh, I learn, um, I, I try to learn, and um, I start. You know, you go out and you, you meet people, and uh, in the journey, and um, I found that there was a lot of legendary Jamaican guys living in my neighborhood. Um, and I met a gentleman named Hux Brown, who was a legendary guitar player on countless recordings, the Heart of They Come soundtrack, on and on. He was Toots and the Maytals uh, band director for decades, and he was my neighbor. And he wound up becoming my, my mentor, and he joined my band, and yeah. So it was like, yeah, it was, it was, uh, but, but yeah, but it's, but you know, I mean, it's really, in a way, it's not much different than blues. I mean, it's still a, you're still kind of singing the same, it's still the same stories, you know. You sing, you sing about being in love, you sing about losing love, you might sing about hard times, you sing about good times. It's, the stories are the same, country and western, blues, reggae, it's all, it's, it's all the same stories, you know. So there's, it's, it's, I think that music is like human beings, it's all more similar than, than not, you know. It's a cold, cold feeling It's just like ice all around my heart Yes, it's a cold, cold feeling It's just like ice all around my heart You know, you are making a change every night because you're touching somebody's heart, you know. And all the time I get people that come up and say, wow, you know, like, you know, they, they express that. And I love it when young people, I'm starting to see more young people come back around. Oh, man, you know, uh, a young man came up to me in Hildesheim, Germany uh, a little over a week ago and told me that I was one of his uh, 
inspirations on guitar and uh you know that's a great feeling i was that kid once upon a time you know so that's a special feeling you know yeah there's been a change in me baby once i was blind but now i can see I'm gonna quit everybody Whoever made a fool of me 